Hello everyone, this is Colossius, and I am here to teach you how to live stream to Twitch.tv. This will be a focus for Go players, so if you are not a Go player, you can still learn from this series, but I will be focusing on how to set up a Go stream and uh, make it look concise for Go players. However, the first couple videos will be about uh, downloading OBS and getting it set up and linked to your brand new twitch.tv channel and how to get a twitch.tv channel and yada yada. So uh, this will be a short little series. Uh, we will go over how to set up in the link OBS and then how to set up your stream, how to make it look uh, a little decent and some little tips and tricks from, uh, from a ghost streamer. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to twitch.tv. Uh, the links for these websites will be in the description below, so you don't have to type it out or anything. You just need to click on those links. Uh, you'll go up here to the little sign-up icon, and then you're going to fill this information and then check that you are not a robot. Now, this little thing's a little buggy, so you give it a second um, and refresh the page if you have to. Uh, but go ahead and check that thing and uh, make sure it gets a check mark. Don't click the sign-up before that thing's checkmarked, or you'll have to redo it. So go ahead and check that thing and then put in your information. So I'm going to put uh, Klausia, Klausi something. Since I didn't want to put a lot of thought into what I would be making, just Klausi something. Uh, then just go ahead and make a password. Birthday. Yada yada. And then of course my email. It's in here before. I am not a robot. Okay, apparently I have to type the text. Uh, that's what, zero 02, I think. All right, checked, I'm not a robot. And sign up. All right, so now I have Klossy something uh, for my Twitch channel. So what you're gonna, go to, gonna, uh, what you're gonna wanna do here is go up here, click on the Klossy something arrow, go to your dashboard. and you're gonna need your stream key. You will need this for later, so just remember right it, where it is, or keep it tapped. Uh, don't worry about mine being black, guys. I have a little uh, custom Twitch channel, so yours will be white, as it was a second ago. Yeah, here's verify your Twitch email address. Um, so you're gonna to wanna to go to your stream key, and you're gonna click show key, and then copy paste it where I tell you, but uh, for now, just keep this tabbed, and we're gonna go get the open broadcast software. Now, on this one, I already have it downloaded and I couldn't exactly get rid of it since I already have my own setups on it. So what you're gonna, gonna wanna do is uh, click the Linux, Windows, or OS X, uh, get the one you want or whichever one you need and then click the download button and then download it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open mine and show you a little bit what, you may, what you'll see. Now, please note, I am on a Mac not a Windows, so it'll be slightly different, but the gist of it is pretty much the same. So here's my OBS, and it's loading the scenes. Give it a minute. Uh, and uh, this is a little bit laggy, and here's me. Hello. Uh, so we're gonna go to the intermission, and then mute that. That way it's not lagging as much. All right, so here I have different scenes and different sources in each of the scenes. Now we'll go over this in a different video. For now, what I want you to set up is uh, go to your settings. Now, if you're on a Windows or a Linux, it may look a little bit different. But uh, go to your settings, and there's a few things you're gonna wanna look at. It's a little slow for me because I'm just trying to record this while also getting this. All right, so under your stream, you're going to select your service. So I was just streaming to YouTube yesterday, so that's why it's YouTube. But you're gonna to wanna to make sure this is Twitch. You're gonna pick wherever you are, if you're in Europe, Asia, US, pick somewhere close to you. Uh, I like California, even though it's not close to Tennessee, because uh, California usually works. And then you're gonna paste your stream key here. Uh, and show it off stream, of course. Don't show it to anybody. Uh, to make sure it's the Twitch code. Same as the Twitch. So if you remember on your Twitch account, when you show this key, you'll copy and paste it here. Uh, then you'll click OK or apply and OK, and it should be set up to go. You immediately start streaming. 
But uh, I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of my settings. So here we have the general, that's fine, output. So output will really depend on your internet. So I have my video bitrate set at 900, and I've been uh, bouncing around 900 to 1,000. Uh, my bitrate will go a little over 1,200, and my internet's not the best. So if you have a, a little slow internet, or other people are streaming like Netflix or playing games on your internet, then you're going to want to lower the bitrate. This is fine for Go players because we're not doing a high FPS game, which is frames per second. We're not playing like StarCraft, Call of Duty, or anything like that. If you are, you're going to want to have a higher bitrate, and you're going to want to look at what are good bitrates for those games. So my video bitrate's around 900. You can have a little bit higher if you have a little bit better internet, or if you're by yourself. Uh, I think you can go up to 1500 and still be fine. Um... Uh, 1500 to 1800. Uh, it really depends on your internet, but mine I had to lower it, and I found a good uh, sweet spot at around 900 to 1000. The audio. Here's where you want to set up your audio. Um, I have Soundflower on my Mac. Don't worry about that. You can just do default. My Samsung Media Mic. That is my microphone. Now uh, I will go into a little bit about the mic uh, later. But for now, you can just do a built-in microphone or whatever you want. Video, it's my base resolution of my screen. Fine. Hot keys are fun. I can put more on that later. And then there's my desk. Okay, so there's all my settings. Uh, the most important thing was the bitrate and whatnot. But uh, yeah, and so now you have a start recording or start streaming and start recording. Start streaming will now stream to your Twitch channel. And start recording, we'll do a screen recording or recording of whatever your setup is. Alright, so uh, that'll conclude the first video. Uh, in the next video, we'll go a bit uh, into how to set up uh, a nice looking stream like this and make scenes and sources. Uh, and then we'll talk about some tips and tricks. Uh, but for now, hopefully, you found that easy to do uh, and uh, a bit helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. You can message me on Facebook or put it in the comments below the video. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video, and hopefully you will start streaming very, very soon. All right, until next time, and until the next video, see you guys.